Welcome to King Solomon's Observations on Life from Judaism's Holy Tanakh, Book of Kohelet, or Ecclesiastes, Part Two of Two on Words of Wisdom. Judaism's history begins around 2000 BCE with the covenant between God, or Elohim, and Abraham. Over a thousand years later, as the Jewish faithful believe. God's or Elohim's laws and commandments were revealed to the prophet Moses on Mount Sinai, forming the Torah, which is the first part of the Hebrew Bible. The Hebrew Bible, or Tanakh, and the ancient writings of the Talmud embody the beliefs and practices of Judaism. Present in every aspect of the religion is a single, omniscient, and compassionate God, or Elohim. The Holy Tanakh, Book of Kohelet, or Ecclesiastes, which is often translated as the Preacher, is one of the thirteen books in the Ketuvim, or Scriptures, and was authored by King Solomon, who ruled with wisdom over Israel for forty years. Considered as the wisest monarch in Israelite history, the Book of Kohelet contains the king's wise observations on life. Today, we will present excerpts from chapters ten to twelve from the Holy Tanakh, Book of Ecclesiastes. In which King Solomon cautions that nothing we do or say in private escapes the notice of God. He also reminds us to think of death even during the happiest moments, and that we must secure happiness hereafter by being a blessing wherever God puts us. Ketuvim or Scriptures from Kohelet or Ecclesiastes. Chapter Ten. A fool also multiplies words, yet man knows not what shall be, and that which shall be after him. Who can tell him? The labor of fools wearies every one of them, for he knows not how to go to the city. Woe to thee, O land, when thy king is a boy and thy princes feast in the morning. Happy art thou, O land. When thy king is a free man, and thy princes eat in due season, in strength and not in drunkenness, by slothfulness the rafters sink in, and through idleness of the hands the house leaks. Curse not the king, no, not in thy thought, and curse not the rich in thy bedchamber, for a bird of the air shall carry the voice, and that which has wings shall tell the matter. Chapter Eleven. Cast thy bread upon the waters, for thou shalt find it after many days. Divide a portion into seven, yea, even into eight, for thou know not what evil shall be upon the earth. If the clouds be full of rain, they empty themselves upon the earth, and if a tree falls in the south, or in the north, in the place where the tree falls. There shall it be. He that observes the wind shall not sow, and he that regards the clouds shall not reap. As thou know not what is the way of the wind, nor how the bones do grow in the womb of her that is with child, even so, thou know not the work of God who does all things. In the morning, sow thy seed. And in the evening, withhold not thy hand, for thou know not which shall prosper, whether this or that, or whether they both shall be alike good. And the light is sweet, and the pleasant thing it is for the eyes to behold the sun. For if a man lives many years, let him rejoice in them all, and remember the days of darkness, for they shall be many. All that comes is vanity. Rejoice, O young man, in thy youth, and let thy heart cheer thee in the days of thy youth, and walk in the ways of thy heart, 
and in the sight of thine eyes. But know thou that for all these things God will bring thee into judgment. Therefore, remove vexation from thy heart, and put away evil from thy flesh, for childhood and youth are vanity. Chapter 12 Remember then thy Creator in the days of thy youth, before the evil days come and the years draw near, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them, before the sun and the light, and the moon and the stars are darkened, and the clouds return after the rain, in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease because they are few, and those that look out shall be darkened in the windows, and the doors shall be shut in the street when the sound of the grinding is low, and one shall start up at the voice of a bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. Also, when they shall be afraid of that which is high, and terrors shall be in the way, and the almond tree shall blossom, and the grasshopper shall drag itself along, and the caperberry shall fail, because man goes to his long home, and the mourners go about the streets, before the silver cord is snapped asunder, and the golden bowl is shattered, and the pitcher is broken at the fountain, and the wheel falls shattered into the pit, and the dust returns to the earth as it was, and the spirit returns unto God who gave it. Vanity of vanities, says the preacher, all is vanity, and besides that, the preacher was wise. He also taught the people knowledge, yea, he pondered, and sought out, and set in order many proverbs. The preacher sought to find out words of delight, and that which was written uprightly, even words of truth. The words of the wise are like goads, and those collected sayings are like well-driven nails. They are given by one shepherd. And furthermore, my son, be admonished. Of making many books there is no end, and much study is a weariness of the flesh. The end of the matter, all having been heard, fear God, and keep his commandments, for this is the whole man. For God shall bring every work into the judgment, concerning every hidden thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. For more information, please visit Internet Archive or archive.org.